Hello, so we are back. First day and we have a customer job and this is interesting. I mean this looks like a brand new laptop. It's a Huawei D15. Yeah, the laptop just arrived. And uh, the problem is, I will tell you the problem, what the customer is saying. Uh, one power on, but the CPU is getting hot. Okay, that's what the customer is saying. And we have a note here. Uh, one power on, battery is fully charged and unplugged from the motherboard. Yeah, because the CPU is getting hot. So this must be an interesting job, right? Now, uh, I didn't open the laptop. I don't know what is inside, but I can see there are no screws here on the back cover. So let's leave the back cover and see what we have there. Okay, the battery is unplugged. Yeah, this is a nice board. It's the one we fixed it last time, yeah, right? But that was a D D14, yeah, this is D15. Okay, now, before we are plugging the charger or the battery, we are not plugging the battery. You know, actually playing with the, with the battery is, is quite dangerous because the battery can uh, output probably like 3 amps and, uh, you know, if let's say we have a short MOSFET, can uh, can kill the processor. Otherwise, on those laptops, small laptops, when I hear like, okay, CPU is getting hot, can be a short MOSFET, I don't know. But even if you have a shortened MOSFET, the chance to kill the, the CPU is quite low. I mean, you have a charger. How many amps? 2 amps, 3 amps. Let's say 3 amps, yeah? 20 volts, 60 watts. With 60 watts, probably if you try hard, you can kill the CPU. But otherwise, your laptop should be fine if you replace the MOSFET. Now, I f if I think if, I, if it's a shorted uh, MOSFET, no. If it's a short, I don't think it's a short atmosphere. If you have a short atmosphere, uh, your power supply uh, it will limit the it will limit the current. Same with the battery. Eh? It will you, the battery it will cut down the power. But anyway, I'm uh, I want to check just to be sure. I want to check just to be sure. Okay, so that's the heat sink. Now let's get the multimeter. And see if we have on our main power rail, we have like 5 ohms, yeah, then we have a shorted MOSFET. So let's see ground. And the main power rail is here. And no, we don't have a shorted MOSFET. Actually, here are not even MOSFETs, are some chips. Does the CPU have 6 ohms? Same the CPU, 4 ohms, 4 ohms, yeah? You have different V cores on the CPUs. Uh, 17 ohms, probably that's, uh, that's the graphics. I mean, it's no risk to plug the charger, yeah? Let's plug the charger, but let's monitorize the current, yeah? That's very important. Let's see what current we are getting there. Now, if you ask me, I will say, you know, this is a bias issue. Probably the laptop is coming on, but obviously it's not displaying because it has some software issue. But, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, so I can't even see the, the, the laptop to negotiate the voltage. So I had like 5 volts and 0, like 200 milliamps. So clearly... With the charger plugged in, is not doing anything. No. 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 It's actually it's not even speaking with my uh, with my charger. Okay, let's see with the power supply. Let's come on the battery place. The battery has uh, eleven volts. Yeah, let's come with few volts just a little bit of amps so that's the battery the plus is here 
It's taking like like nothing, like two, 20 milliamps, like 20 milliamps. So clearly it's nothing shorted here, yeah? So I think it's safe to plug the battery. And now let's follow the CPU. You said that the battery is fully charged. Let's see. Yeah, we have 12.2. Now, now, pressing the power button. Nothing happened. It's nothing hot here. Plugging the charger is still... Uh, doesn't negotiate the voltage. Nothing. Okay, that's strange. I mean, why the customer it will tell me the CP is getting hot where well, actually it doesn't get hot. Okay, let's see the main power rail. The main power rail is present. It is 13 volts. 12.8. And here 13. Okay, so most likely we have a switch in power supply, which is creating that voltage, right? No. Okay, that's strange. That's uh, quite strange. I mean, the, my charger has 5 volts. The battery has 12.8, but here I have like 13.1. I should, I should have somewhere a coil which is boosting the voltage to 13 volts, but I can't see it. Okay, let's see the BIOS chip. The BIOS chip has zero volts. The BIOS chip looks like it has been replaced before. Does someone play here with the BIOS chip? No, it looks like it's sold the solder like original. It doesn't look like someone play here. Uh, it's a strange one, yeah? And my concern, actually, we have no voltage on the bio chip. We have zero. But what about the, the IO chip? Because I believe our, our IO chip doesn't have voltage. That's what I believe. Of course, I can be wrong. We have an ITE. A9, A7. And what do we have here around this? We have 3.3, yeah, we have voltage on it. Let's see if with thermal camera if we can see anything. Maybe we can maybe the thermal camera can point point us of uh, our direction. Okay, so what do we have there? There is something hot. Basically, it's this coil. It's kind of warm. Okay. And then we have something there. What is there? No, I don't know what is there. Is something behind this uh, rubber thingy? Yeah.
Okay, so it's something here. Uh, something here is getting hot. I suppose that chip. Let's see what that chip is doing. Don't feel it, but 1.2. 3.3 12 volts okay so i suppose this is doing the job probably some regulator Three point three. Hmm. probably is doing the job okay Okay, but that, that here is something which is getting hot, and I don't believe it's the coil, because it's somewhere here on the bottom. Yeah, here, somewhere on the bottom. And can be on the other side of the board, yeah? Can be on the other side of the board. I mean, that's how it looks like. Okay, let's take the shield out. But clearly here, someone uh, uh, check. And that's the problem, you know, when uh, someone already tried to fix it. That's the problem. And it's not even, let's say, okay, someone tried to fix it. Maybe they didn't try to fix it. Maybe they short a thing here with a tweezer or they touch with the power supply. I will never be able to repair this board. Okay. Let's plug the charger. Well, here a chip is missing. Well, maybe it's missing from the factory. Anyway, what can get hot is this uh, switcher, voltage switcher. And uh, yeah, that's fine. That's normal. Yeah, five volts. And that's the one. Yeah, it, it's a switcher. It's a voltage switcher. This one. Uh, and that's okay. Actually, that's fine. I believe this is managing the USB-C power. That's what I believe. Well, let's test. So we have zero volts here. And zero here. And zero here. Okay, that's not right. I have zero here. And here we have zero. What? Wait. So how the ship is getting warm there? This is from HDMI. X1 A6. Let me check. Let me try try to find online. Because this is strange. Okay, so this is the chip. So it has one input here, one input here, one output here, one output here. Okay? 
So let's uh, try to have a look a little bit of the outputs on the input. Let's see. Because something is not clear here. So compared with the ground, we have one output here, and this output is shorter to ground, and we have one output here, and this output is fine. Then we have one input here, where it's fine, it's not shorted, and we have one input here, it's not shorted. So why this output is shorted? Anyone knows where this is going then? No one knows? Why on this coil we have zero ohms? Hmm? Anyone knows? So this coil is driven by this chip. You can see the output of this chip. Why we have zero ohms? Hmm? No one knows? This is a power supply, yeah. And here, and here we have a short. Clearly, we have a short. We have zero ohms. So what that power supply is doing? Hmm. We don't know, right? Good. Let's go with some current. Low voltage. I really want low voltage. Like. 0 0.78 let's see so coming with this we have ground here and we have plus here right yeah any short good now let's come with the thermal camera let's raise the current a little bit and what is getting hot No one knows. It's a genuine mystery why this coil is taking two amps. Right? I mean, th this must be unique. It's taking two amps, but nothing is getting hot. I mean, must be a black hole here where the energy is going. Okay, that's strange. Yeah, let's raise the current because I don't get fooled by a coil. Let's go 3 amps, 4 amps. Let's see with 4 amps. The coil, the... Something change with 4 amps. No, 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 it's not the CV. CV is cold. What is taking four amps? That's sick. That's crazy. This is crazy. I mean, it's taking four amps and nothing is getting hot. I mean, this is impossible. This is against the physics rule, you know? I mean, clearly, I mean, clearly, you can see the output of this chip. Okay, so you'll think the chip is shorted. Nah, I cannot be sure that without getting hot, yeah? No, no, no. You see? The coil is exactly on the output of this. And here, something is short. No, it's not a capacitor. I don't know what this is doing here. Okay, I spent a little bit of time trying to find the problem. And actually, only with uh, very high amperage, I, I found actually the problem. The short is like zero ohms. I mean, zero, nearly zero ohms. Near, it has the same resistance with the, with the tracks, yeah? So, uh, let's pay attention here. Because you won't see this, only with hard current, you will see a little bit. You see on the corner of the chipset, you see that? But check that it's like 5 amps and we have a 0.05 volts. 
So the chip set is actually shorter to ground. I mean, nearly like zero ohms resistance. You see, this is a case where actually it's nothing what I can do. I uh, emailed the customer asking if something happened with the laptop because from what he told me, he said, okay, the CPU is getting hot. What I believe, I believe this was partial shorted and uh, probably died, somehow died before the laptop arrived here. Sad, but there's not much what we can do. Okay, yeah, I know it's sad, it's sad, you know, you have a shorted chipset, PCH. Okay, so I'll stop now. I will say, uh, you know what, if you have this kind of faults, and I did check, the customer said the customer, the CPU is getting hard, so the CPU has the normal resistance. We have not shorted MOSFET. But I didn't think to check the, 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 the chipset. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the chipset. I mean, I, I don't think I ever found a chipset like zero ohms. You know what I mean? I mean, the, 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 the temperature of the chipset is the same with the, with the truck. Crazy. Yes, yeah, sadly, I cannot help this, this customer at this time. Maybe another time. I would say thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. I was on the way to put all back together, and I think, you know what, let me check on eBay. Let's see if we can find any motherboard. And, uh, you know, I found, yeah, I didn't find anyone good, <laughs> if that's what you ask yourself, no. But I, have, I found four faulty motherboards. You remember? We bought before motherboard from eBay, we fixed it and everything was fine. No, same with this one. With, uh, we found motherboard, 30 pounds motherboard, faulty, yeah? But the problem is all three motherboards, and this, this seller has a lot of motherboards, e even for Huawei. Um, this is a company, this is not a solo trader, yeah? So I, I'm not sure what should I do. I mean... A company is not selling an uh, untested motherboard. That's what I believe. And on this motherboard, I mean, I don't care if anything else is faulty. I care about the CPU to be good, CPU and the chipset. Uh, if we have a dead uh, EC chip, IO chip, that's fine. I will replace it from the other board. But I'm not sure what should I do. Leave me a comment and tell me what you will do or what we should do. We should risk and buy the motherboard. I don't mind, I don't mind buying a motherboard from, uh, you know, like a private seller, but this is a company. You know what I mean? They have technicians that this company has a lot of, I found like 10 motherboards, Huawei motherboards, uh, D15, yeah, we draw on and Intel only from this seller. So, uh, I believe probably they tested, probably they tested because, uh, you know, I don't think they will sell uh, an untested motherboard, a motherboard with a BIOS issue, a motherboard with a short atmosphere. No, no, I don't believe that. Anyway, leave me a comment and tell me if we should go forward. You see all those motherboards from here? You see those from the bottom? Are from the same uh, seller. Are all from the same seller. Leave me a comment and tell me what you will do. You will buy a motherboard uh, from, uh, from here? Or what you will do? Because clearly all what we need, we need a CPU. We need a board with a good CPU and chipset. Okay? Leave me a comment. See you later. Bye.